Hi, Jane Esselstyn here. And this is my mom, Ann Esselstyn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about our cookbook, which is the Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook. So we're going to talk about, eventually, some recipes to prevent and reverse heart disease. But first of all, we're going to talk about our guidelines. And the, the theory of eating a whole food plant-based diet is actually really easy to comprehend, understand, but people seem to have difficulty doing so. So we're gonna to try to make it clear and easy and fun to do. Um, and the reason we feel like we wanna go through the guidelines is that people often say to us, sounds good, but I could never do that. Or, or you know, they say it's so complicated. And ah, it's, it's not. It, it's not. Um, and what's interesting is sometimes people say, oh, we eat plant-based, about maybe 80, one meal a week or 85 percent like they have a percentage of how much they eat which is that's not plant-based <laughs> that's not one of the guidelines um so we're going to cover our guidelines and we're going to maybe have some kitchen gear at some time now and again that we're using and hopefully we explain it if we don't please ask us in the comments below and <laughs> we'll hopefully get to them um but Otherwise, it's really easy. So here we go. Our guidelines are pretty basic. Number one, no meat. That means no pork, no chicken, no, you know. No meat. Yeah, Second yeah. guideline. Right. Yeah. No meat. No dairy, which includes things like cheese. Milk. Butter. I can't even remember all the butter, dairy things. Butter, cottage but cheese, everything. cream cheese, so. cream of your coffee. And no oil. No added oil to your foods, no oil on your shelves, no oil in your life. Just it sounds no hard, added but that one oil. is the easiest because you throw it out, you don't have it, so any liquid will work. Yes, um, and then eat whole grain oats. Oats, 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 oats are, oats. wait, Jane, okay. it's really important for breakfast to get oats somehow or other into your diet. Or they, for lunch or for dinner. Well, but if you can get it in at breakfast because the rest of the day is kind of lost right. if you don't. And oats reduce inflammation, they are dose responsive, they keep your blood sugar level, they decrease inflammation. High they fiber. have got such powerful properties that try and eat oats. And whole grain oats, we say, because it's easy to get sort of the macheted up, sugar sweetened and salted oats um, that come in little packets. We mean like whole. Either um, steel cut or the old-fashioned old oats, and those are the, the top, mm. or else the original, the whole um, oat groat. Is that even edible? Oh, it's great. It's delicious. Oat oh. groats are wonderful. She's part goat, apparently. No, okay, and then whole grain. Whole Not goat. <laughs> oat. Uh, eat whole grains. Whole grains meaning, you know, whole wheat flour, brown rice, brown... Um, Brown whole, brown whole, jasmine if, rice. Ja wait, Jane, if whole isn't in front of wheat, then it's just a white flour. Right. So make sure if it says semolina flour, that's white flour. So make sure it's whole wheat of some kind. Whole rye. Then you got Brown it. rice. Okay. And quinoa is a whole grain. Um, next thing, please eat greens. Greens, greens, greens. Get Fill green your life, life with greens. All kinds. Broccoli is a green, Brussels sprouts, beets are a green, eat the green part of the green, beet even, greens. Even cauliflower is on that list. Which I just learned. And there's uh, cilantro, parsley, all kinds of good stuff is on there. But we want you to eat the whole rainbow of vegetables as well. But this focus on greens is key also. And eat beans, eat lentils, eat legumes, and the fancy word for them is pulses. And put beans in, in your salad. Put beans, you know, throw soups, them in your chilies. soups. Anywhere you can put them, put them. Eat them plain. They're great. What do you like on your beans sometimes? Oh, I like just some beans from a can, rinsed out, and with a little balsamic vinegar on them. So delicious. Vinegar on everything. And then we want you to have minimal salt. Um, don't uh, We have no salt at home. I think Jane no, may we, have a little... No, well, this is, this, is the, this is the only sauce. No we salt. eat tamari, which is a, a tamari is a, a low-sodium <clears throat> soy sauce. But that's what instead we of going to salt, try lemon or lime, try any kind of hot sauces. Spices. Or try balsamic vinegars. Seasoning. And that really does get, 
you lose that need for so much salt. Okay, and minimal sweet. And when we say minimal sweet, we mean basically try just to use a little maple syrup if and when you need it. Um, or use some date uh, paste or some fruits, uh, like all fruit spread. Uh, just because having sugar around keeps your uh, temptation, your, your, re your light regulation feeling for sugar is really high. And we want you to just have it dialed down a little bit. And we in our cookbook chose to use maple syrup occasionally yeah. because it has the least amount of fructose is what you, what you want to avoid in fruit and it has the least amount uh, and also it is so expensive that it gives you a little bit of a way to regulate. Ghastly expensive. And for preventing and reversing heart disease, if this is what you're really going for, no nuts, no avocado, no coconut. No coconut, no matter how you eat. Right. And if you don't have heart disease, you know, an ounce or so of nuts, some avocado is fine. Yes. Um, and we want to clarify that because sometimes people think that our guidelines are, that the prevent and reverse heart disease guidelines are similar to Engine 2. And this is the only place where they veer away from Engine 2, which is my brother Rip's uh, brand, and I do the recipes with them. There are a little bit of nuts and a little bit of avocado in the Engine 2 books, but not in preventing and reversing heart disease. Okay. And the next clear. one is to drink water. You will save thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and thousands and thousands and thousands of calories by not buying other things and drinking. And water. on that principle, uh, please chew your food. Don't drink your calories. That is such a key thing to remember. And last, check read ingredients. This is a shocking thing that people just don't realize about ingredients. For instance, there is a baby food prunes uh -huh. that the regular baby food prunes have got zero anything but prunes. But the organic baby food prunes adds tuna oil. So there's no way of knowing it's not that even vegan. If, you, <laughs> if you didn't wow. read ingredients. And so read ingredients, even on things that you think you're confident about. You'll be surprised. Those are our guidelines for the Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook. If you know or love anybody with heart disease, please consider sharing this book with them. Or educate them. Or educate, educate them, them yourself. Show them this video. If you have any comments, write them below. And if you want to subscribe, right here. Thanks so much. More videos to come. See you soon. Bye.